Hello and welcome to our family workshop. In this video, as you can see from the title, we are looking at the idea of whether or not it is a good investment to purchase a scroll saw. As you may know, many of our videos are focused upon the scroll saw. So it'll be no surprise that we do recommend a scroll saw above many of the other tools and equipment available. Now let's just go through some of the reasons that we recommend a scroll saw above some of the other tools. When we started our family workshop many years ago, some of our first investments included a table saw, a band saw, hand carving tools, a vise, and a pillar drill, long before we ever considered buying a scroll saw. If we were in a position today where we were starting our business over again, one of the first investments and one of the most important investments we would make would be a scroll saw. So let's focus on the reasons why. The scroll saw is what we regard as a cornerstone of what we do. It provides us with a method of preparing our wood carving projects, as well as doing many projects that are solely focused in and around the scroll saw. It is worth noting that it's a piece of equipment that does need other equipment around it. So for instance, a belt sander for getting the bottom surface nice and flat to sit on the scroll saw bed, we regard as essential, as well as a pillar drill or a hand drill is also a piece of equipment that is necessary when it comes to working with a scroll saw. That's because we need to do that pierce work in the preparation. So it is worth noting then from the outset, if you are buying a scroll saw, there are a few pieces of equipment that we regard as essential for being able to do the job effectively. What I would say then, when it comes to a belt sander, you can get away with having an entry level machine, quite a basic machine. You'll see us normally demonstrating with a more industrial, stronger machine. And our pillar drill then, it is a better quality pillar drill. But once again, you can get away with having a more entry level hand drill when it comes to doing your pierce work. It's just when you get a better quality belt sander, it does the job more effectively and quickly. And equally with the pillar drill, a better quality one will do those drill holes more effectively and easily. Ultimately, what we're getting at is when it comes to your investment, our suggestion would be to invest the majority of your funds into the scroll saw initially to get the best for what you are spending. Let's look then at some of the other equipment that we've mentioned. The table saw, the band saw. Why is it that I would suggest a scroll saw above these other larger pieces of equipment? Well, the band saw, the one fundamental thing I would suggest the scroll saw over it is the fact that it cannot do internal cuts. By its very nature, it needs to access the cut in some way because it is a continuous band. So it is not able to do that pierce work, the internal work that the scroll saw can do. So with the scroll saw, a lot of the jobs that the band saw can do, the scroll saw can do as well, but it has the added bonus of being able to do internal cuts as well. When it comes to the table saw, again, many of the cuts that you can do on a table saw can be done on the scroll saw. What it does mean, you might have to buy pre-prepared wood initially. So whilst the table saw is a valuable investment, you might have to make do 
with pre-prepared woods or furniture like we use ourselves that is already at the thickness that you require for your scroll saw projects. So it's finding solutions to those problems. Basically what I'm getting at is that the band saw and the table saw, they are both good investments great additions to your workshop. But if it comes to a choice between the three, I would suggest going for the scroll saw first of all, because it gives you more variety and options in the projects and things that you can make. If we also add into the equation the hand tools, I would suggest that the scroll saw is the best route to go down first of all, because you can make and sell projects, and then using the money that you have gained from making items on your scroll saw, you can reinvest in the other pieces of equipment. In essence, it comes down to what you are interested in, but with the scroll saw, you have so many different ideas that you can consider. You have the option of stack cutting together different colored pieces of wood and then mixing them up to create beautiful projects. Equally, you can stack cut and make several projects at the same time. We use our scroll saw to make key rings decorations, plaques, fridge magnets, pen holders, letter racks. It is such a versatile piece of equipment. What we are getting at is when you start your journey as a woodworker, you have choices to make and you may have a limited budget to get your journey moving. So that's what I'm trying to get across, is by investing in the scroll saw initially, you give yourself the best option and opportunity for getting money back into your workshop that you can then reinvest in other equipment. What it comes down to is the order in which I would advise you purchasing equipment. So to get started, what you can look at is investing in a basic entry-level hand drill for doing your pierce work holes, an entry-level belt sander to get the surfaces nice and flat and to refine the finish of whatever you are making, and then the scroll saw to make different projects. As you start to develop your journey when it comes to woodworking, those three pieces of equipment focused around the scroll saw give you the best opportunity for generating income that can then be reinvested in the other pieces of equipment that are also useful in the workshop. Providing a little bit of insight into our own experiences here at our family workshop, our background is as wood carvers, as spoon carvers, and ultimately as love spoon carvers. What we are now finding though, is increasingly more of our time is being focused upon the scroll saw. And this is a very simple reason. We are finding that the scroll saw projects that we do are generating more interest from the people who visit our workshop. So we're finding that in our own journey, whilst we began as wood carvers, more of our time is being focused towards the scroll saw because that is ultimately the best route for our survival into the future. That is the idea of this video, is to share the direction that we find we are moving into and achieving the greatest amount of success. As with all things, there's always advantages and disadvantages to whatever equipment you decide to get. But in essence, if you're looking for a route into woodworking, the scroll saw is as good a route as any for you to consider. Let us know in the comments section if you've got any questions when it comes to the scroll saw, when it comes to woodworking equipment and what is best for you to do. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And as always, thank you again for watching.